different place to practically everybody in the stadium. It's different to the audience going off, it's different to the band playing, it's different to the roadies. You're definitely in your own zone. I'm a rock and roll photographer. I couldn't not take photos. It's a thrill. I think if it's not a thrill, you shouldn't be doing it. So I've been photographing now near on 30 years rock and roll photography, and in that time I've had over 50,000 photos published, done 500 CD covers, and I've done 932 uh, front covers of magazines. It never stopped. I mean, I was sort of addicted to it. I, I was going out five nights a week photographing anybody and anybody. It, it was an infatuation with getting the great shot. When you get a, a photo that is that wow factor, uh, it, it was taken in 125th of a second, and that's probably the moment and the moment you get it or you miss it. And for every one of those, I've got 10 that I didn't get. I think what I first loved about photography was that thrill of anticipation and not knowing what's going to happen. In the early days, I got really lucky in so much as no one asked to look at them. Someone would have looked in those first six months and they'd go, well, he, that was crap. When you're photographing a, a, an artist, you're attempting to capture some of their vulnerability, some of their honesty. You're trying to portray them as they are. I think in rock and roll, the greatest bands in the world are the inconsistent ones. They have a, a high where it just everything clicks. It's like a jigsaw and it all comes in and goes and they're just brilliant. Bands that just play the same like that are just like ordinary. Go! The first time I got a digital camera to shoot live, I had a sense of cheating because you got so many more photos back than you used to get on film. The good news is your eye is still one of the most important factors of taking a photograph. So that makes a photographer still in charge of the camera, not the other way around. I think whatever character you form and whatever you leave behind, whether you're memorable or not, uh, that's other people to decide. But I always advise young photographers that you should always stick with what you think's great and then you will be employed by people who agree with you. Don't try and fake it. Just be true to your own beliefs. I'll never hang up the camera ever. Um, even when no one wants me, I'll still be taking photos. Rock on.